Each and every one of us yearns for those lush looking tresses. But if the hair looks dry and fuzzy, well most of the time it is because of excessive shampooing and the use of hot appliances like dryers and rollers to make it curly or straight or whatever. This abuse of the hair reflects as dry and unhealthy looking hair. Besides certain medical conditions, excess drug use, stress, all these also contribute to making the hair look lackluster with a resulting loss of hair, split ends and brittle hair. However, the use of some common kitchen ingredients can go a long way in helping overcome this problem. Methi or fenugreek seeds is very effective in combating dry hair. So take a handful of fenugreek seeds and soak them in water overnight. In the morning, discard the water, take the softened seeds and make a paste out of it. Now take this paste and to this add a little bit of yogurt to form a thick paste. Now apply this over your scalp and hair, leave it for about half an hour and then wash it off with a mild shampoo. Do this couple of times a week for best results. Olive oil is another ingredient that helps tackle dry hair. Take some olive oil in a cup, you can also use coconut oil for this and very slightly warm this oil. Massage the oil over your scalp and on your hair for about 10 minutes and soak a towel in some warm water. Squeeze the water out and wrap it around your head. Leave it overnight and in the morning wash it off with a mild shampoo. Besides the above, a nutritional diet is very important as is de-stressing. Avoid the use of harsh chemicals and hot appliances as far as possible. Go that extra mile to give your hair that lustrous look. Split ends can really make the hair look shabby. While there is no one reason why this happens, some common causes are vigorous brushing of the hair, especially while the hair is wet, excessive use of hair colour and heating appliances, and even rubber bands and clips that pull and stretch the hair. Besides, a diet lacking in nutrients is also a contributing factor. Let's look at some simple ways to control the damage of your split ends. Depending on the length of your hair, take one or two papayas. Cut the papaya, remove the seeds and put them in a blender. To this, add a cup of well-beaten curd. Mix this well and form a decent paste out of it. Part your hair and apply it all over your hair. Massage it gently and leave it for about 30 minutes and then wash it off. For treating split ends and nourishing the hair, try this oily treatment. Depending on the thickness and length of your hair, add equal amounts of olive oil and mustard oil. Mix this well and apply it all over your scalp. Massage it gently and place a towel over your head. Leave it on for about half an hour at least and wash it off with a good shampoo. Take 100 ml of fresh curd and to this add 1 tablespoon of honey. Mix this well and apply it over your hair right up to your split ends. Leave it for about half an hour and wash it off with plain water. For just the split ends, apply ghee every night and wash it off in the morning. It goes without saying that besides hair applications, you need to pay attention to your diet for ensuring healthy and lustrous hair. Therefore, ensure that your diet includes lots of fresh leafy vegetables, fruits like guava and some fat in the form of olive oil. Take care of your tresses, they are your crowning glory. Head lice are tiny insects that thrive on the scalp by sucking the blood, children being most susceptible to acquiring them when mingling with others in school. Lice are transmitted from person to person not only through contact but also by sharing things like combs, 
caps and even pillows. Therefore, if anyone has lice, ensure their combs, brushes and linens are thoroughly clean. So, how do you deal with this embarrassing situation which leaves you itching and scratching? Try this very simple home remedy. Take a large onion and extract juice out of it either by squeezing the onion by hand or placing it over the sieve and pressing it. Now take this onion juice and apply it on your scalp for about 5 to 10 minutes. Leave it for half an hour and then wash it off. For the final rinse, add generous amount of white vinegar to the water. This will help dissolve the lice eggs that cling on to your hair. When dry, use a lice comb to comb your hair and repeat this until the condition clears. Do this twice a week for about a month. Take half a cup of vinegar and to this add half a cup of oil, preferably olive oil. Now apply this on your scalp, leave it for one hour and then wash it off. Slightly warm some coconut oil and to this add few drops of any essential oil. Apply this on the scalp and leave it overnight. In the morning wash it off with a good shampoo and repeat this for at least a week for best result. Remember though these tiny parasites may not impair your health, they need to be removed as fast as possible or the scalp may get cracked and infected. Maintain cleanliness and stay healthy. An oily scalp can be extremely frustrating as even after shampooing the hair looks dirty and sticky just 2 to 3 days later. If you happen to have dandruff also, this makes it look even dirtier. Added to that, an oily scalp leads to thinning of hair. Let's see why some people have an excessively oily scalp. Well, this could be a hereditary factor or even a result of hormonal changes in the body. Spicy and oozing with oil food can also be the culprit, but like with several other conditions, this can also be because of total lack of hair care. So, if you're having an oily scalp, it is time to take immediate action with simple ingredients easily available. First and foremost, it is very important to shampoo your hair every other day, if not daily, to remove the oil and keep the hair looking clean. Try using a shampoo that is specially meant for an oily scalp and make sure you rinse your hair very well. If you can get aloe vera easily then try the following. Take an aloe vera leaf and extract gel from it. In a cup full of shampoo, add 1 teaspoon of aloe vera gel and 1 tablespoon of lime juice. Mix this well and use this to wash your hair. In a bowl, take 2 cups of water and to this add 2 tablespoons of freshly squeezed lime juice and 2 to 3 teaspoons of honey. Mix this well and massage it onto your scalp for 10 minutes. Leave it on for another 10 minutes and wash it off with warm water. You can do this on alternative days to see best results. A quick way of dealing with oily hair when you're in a hurry is to apply some talcum powder or corn flour on your hair and then dust it off. However, remember to shampoo as soon as possible. Well, you could try these remedies to effectively deal with an oily scalp. But what needs to be done on a regular basis is drinking plenty of water, avoiding oily food and do not scratch or too frequently comb hair as this will stimulate more oil production. Take care of your scalp and watch your tresses shine. Thick lustrous hair is an enviable asset but one that is becoming very scarce. Stressful lifestyles, pollution, diets deficient in essential nutrients all contribute to a lackluster crowning glory. A few simple home remedies can go a long way in restoring the shine to your tresses. Take a handful of fenugreek seeds and make a paste out of it like this. 
apply this paste to your scalp and leave it for about 10 to 15 minutes and wash it off with normal water. There is a weekly treatment that all of you can follow for lustrous hair. Take about 1 tablespoon of amla, also known as the Indian gooseberry and add about 2 tablespoons of coconut oil to it. Mix this and let it boil for about 10 minutes. Allow it to cool and once in room temperature, strain it really well. Massage it on your scalp and leave it overnight and in the morning remember to shampoo really well. Take about 1 to 2 egg yolks depending on the length of your hair. For example, my hair length requires only 1 egg yolk. Now beat this egg yolk really well. Add about 2 tablespoons of coconut oil and then add about 3 tablespoons of water. Mix this and make a paste out of it. Apply this on the scalp and massage gently. Leave it on for about half an hour and then shampoo really well with a mild shampoo. And you should do this weekly to get best results. Drink plenty of water to ensure good hydration and eat plenty of fresh fruits and vegetables and see the luster return to your hair. It is normal to lose a few strands of hair daily, but if you're losing excessive hair, or if your hairline starts to recede or if ball patches are visible on your scalp then you are suffering from hair loss. There are multiple reasons as to why we lose hair. The most prominent one being genetic, a dirty and clogged scalp, lack of nutrients in your diet or even anemia. You can adopt few simple remedies to arrest hair loss. Take a handful of fenugreek seeds, soak them in water and after about 10 to 15 minutes make a paste out of it which I have done already. Take this paste and apply it on your scalp, leave it on for about an hour and then you can wash it off with warm water. Do this about 2 to 3 times a week to arrest hair loss. Take a medium sized onion and grate this and extract juice from this. Take this juice and apply it on your scalp and leave it for about 15 to 20 minutes. Wash it off with normal water. For best results, do this bi-weekly but remember to keep the onion juice always fresh. Mince about 3 cloves of garlic and add this to about quarter cup of coconut oil. Pour this in a pan and let it simmer on low flame for about 10 minutes. Once it cools and is in room temperature, apply it on your scalp and leave it for about half an hour. And remember, once it's done, you have to shampoo it really well. Eat a healthy diet rich in nutrients like folic acid and B6. De-stress and keep that head full of hair. Losing hair is a cause of concern for both men and women. Ball patches is the most visible sign in men with a receding hairline and little or no hair on the head. Hereditary factors play a big role especially when it comes to male pattern balding. In women, other factors like hormonal imbalance leads to thinning of hair. However, what is common to both men and women when it comes to losing hair is stress. Other causes include underlying chronic ailments like anemia or typhoid etc, vitamin B6 and folic acid deficiency or an unclean scalp with clogged follicles. Try using these simple ingredients available in your kitchen to help prevent hair loss. In a pan, boil a cup of mustard oil. To the boiling oil, add 4 tablespoons of mehndi or henna leaves. Once this cools, strain this oil into a bowl. Store this in a clean bottle and massage the oil gently on your scalp. Take an egg yolk and add 1 teaspoon of honey. Mix this well 
and apply it to ball patches. Leave it on for about half an hour and then wash it off. Alternatively, you can take an egg yolk and beat it until it becomes smooth and creamy. Now apply this on your scalp, leave it for half an hour and wash it off. To avoid a hair fall, do not comb your hair when it is wet. Oil your hair once or twice a week and remember to massage your scalp really well as this stimulates hair growth. Follow these remedies and enjoy a head full of healthy hair. If you enjoyed this video, remember to hit the like button and leave a comment letting me know what you feel and remember to check out our other home remedies. Eat healthy, stay healthy and lead a long happy life.